after nearly five decades of relative peace along the india china border chinese forces started a standoff along the line of actual control during the month of may 2020 with the indian forces this has led to deteriorating relationship between india and china to know about the border issues involving india and its neighbors watch this video fully firstly take the line of control see it separates india and pakistan let us know about the history behind it in august 1947 jammu and kashmir was a princely state of the size of 2.06 lakh square miles but two months later pakistan invaded jammu and kashmir here note that pakistan invaded despite having signed a standstill agreement with the princely state so this made jammu and kashmir turn to india for help and both india and jammu and kashmir signed the instrument of accession after signing the instrument india responded to the pakistani intrusion it resulted in the 1949 war then came the intervention of united nations which accepted the merger of jammu and kashmir with india a ceasefire line was drawn depending on the actual positions held by the two armies so what happened is the ceasefire line temporarily bifurcated jammu and kashmir with india getting control of about 65 percentage of the state and pakistan the rest 35 percent this ceasefire line was formalized in the karachi agreement signed in the later part of the 1949 it was signed between india and pakistan with two un observers signing as witnesses here note that the sanctity of the ceasefire line was to be maintained till the final settlement of the jammu and kashmir issue however two incidents altered the status quo on the jammu and kashmir during 1960s one is the india china war of 1962 and the other one is the india pakistan war of 1965 firstly in 1962 china humbled india and captured nearly 20 percentage of the princely state the area captured was aksai chin here note that china denies india sovereignty over the coal desert region which is nothing but aksai chin further in the year 1963 pakistan signed an agreement with china and handed over about 2000 square miles area in northern kashmir to china you can see the ceded part in the map present here then came the 1965 war it saw both india and pakistan occupying each other's territories india captured nearly 750 square miles while pakistan taked over about 200 square miles but with the signing of the tashkent agreement both militaries returned to their previous positions along the line of control then came the 1971 war the war ended with shimla agreement which turned the ceasefire line into line of control this is how it is called today we can note that there was no line of control before the 1972 shimla agreement this agreement also practically junked the un resolution as the two countries agreed to resolve all disputes through bilateral talks so the line of control thus drawn gave pakistan control over pakistan occupied kashmir and gilgit baltistan then the rest of the jammu and kashmir minus aksai chin is situated on the indian side of the line of control here note that line of control was again changed in the year 1984 this is because siachen glacier came into the focus in the early 1970s when pakistanis got to know that there is an indian expedition to siachen glacier they went about their plan to capture siachen aggressively so they ordered a full range of mountaineering gear from a london based firm this firm was also a supplier to the indian army so the information got leaked to india now the indian army launched operation meghdood to turn the siachen into one of its bases See, Siachen is the largest glacier in the Trans-Himalayan region. It is a triangular block of literally 76 km length. Now coming back, Pakistan claims that Siachen glacier belongs to the part of Jammu and Kashmir given to its control under both the Karachi agreement and the Shimla agreement. But India claims otherwise. India argues that the crest line beyond NJ9842 follows a northwest direction and ends with Indra Kol of Siachen glacier. See this Indra Kol is the area where territories of Jammu and Kashmir meet the lands occupied by Pakistan and the area which was gifted by Pakistan to China. So the existing line of control runs from Manavar in Jammu to Indra Kol on the tri-junction in the Karakoram mountain range. 
the indian and pakistani troops have to maintain a no man's land of 500 yards on each side of the line of control thus we can say that pakistan and india has agreed to uphold the line of control and the loc has been delineated on a map by both sides this is all about the line of control in contrast the alignment of line of actual control has never been agreed upon and it is neither been delineated nor demarcated that is there is no official map in the public domain that depicts the line of actual control so this line of actual control can best be thought of as an idea reflecting the territories that are at present under the control of each side pending a resolution of the boundary dispute now let us see about this line of actual control c lac is the demarcation that separates india controlled territory from the china controlled territory in the kashmir region note that the length of sino indian border is 3488 km you can see here in the map that it covers the western sector which includes the union territory of ladakh and middle sector which includes himachal pradesh and uttarakhand it also covers the macmogan line in the east which covers sikkim and arunachal pradesh know the history behind this see in 1913 the british indian government had called a tripartite conference and in this conference the boundary between india and tibet was formalized but this indo tibetan boundary is however disputed by china which terms it as illegal and then in 1957 china occupied aksai chin and built a road through it this episode was followed by intermittent clashes along the border finally it culminated in the border war of 1962 then after the war a boundary came into existence this was known as the line of actual control here note that china occupies more than 38000 square kilometer in the erstwhile state of jammu and kashmir in the ladakh region this region is known as aksai chin you can see this disputed area in this image but know that india recognizes the macmogan line and considers it to be the actual line of control between india and china while china does not recognize the macmogan line see macmogan line is a boundary line present in the eastern part of the indo china border it lies to the north of arunachal pradesh which also borders with the china you can see the macmogan line in this image this macmogan line was breached by china in the year 1962 when the chinese army personnel invaded the eastern boundary of india through the arunachal pradesh route however they left the region after occupying it for some days So now practically talking Macmogan line is the international boundary present between Arunachal Pradesh and China in the present day this is all about the Macmogan line through this discussion we have learned about the line of control and also about the line of actual control and the Macmogan line to watch content like this please subscribe to Shankar AIS Academy's YouTube channel